Hey, everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain all the technologies you need to learn to become a successful front-end developer. Learn from the mistakes I've made so you can avoid them on your journey. If you've been unsure about what front-end development entails or if you've wasted time not knowing where to start, this video is for you. We'll explore the key technologies in this field, what you need to learn, and the high-demand skills you should acquire. I'll address several frequently asked questions, such as the time commitment required to become a front-end developer and the salary expectations in this field. Let's kick off our journey. What is front-end development? Front-end development is like designing the face of the website. Front-end developers focus on what you see and interact with. Make sure it's easy to use and looks good on any device. In short, front-end developers turn designs into live websites and apps that people can use. Professionals who specialize in this role are known by various names, such as front-end developers, front-end engineers, web designers. Keep in mind that front-end development mainly revolves around three technologies HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'll explain more about these technologies, but for now, just know that almost everything in the front-end revolves around them. Before diving into the world of front-end development, it's essential to grasp the foundational concepts of the Internet. How does the Internet work? What is HTTP? What is a domain name? What is hosting? DNS and how it works? Browsers and how they work? Now, let's shift our focus to the key technologies used in this field. The first technology on our list is HTML. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, serves as the standard language for creating and designing web documents. In simple terms, HTML is the skeleton of a website. It allows you to add content to a web page, including text, images, links, and various elements. To get started with HTML, make sure to grasp the following topics. Learn the basics. This includes understanding essential tags such as heading tags, h1, h2, h6, paragraph tags, p, anchor tags, a, image tags, img, did tag, and more. Semantic tags. Explore the use of semantic tags to enhance the structure and meaning of your HTML documents. Forms and validations. Gain proficiency in creating forms and implementing validations for user input. Accessibility. Understand the importance of making your websites accessible to users with disabilities. HTML is not as challenging as it may seem, it's quite user-friendly. With a basic understanding of a few tags, you can learn HTML in just a few days. Since HTML relies on tags to structure content on a website, memorization is key to mastering it. The second language that is important in web development is CSS. CSS is a beautiful language that I like. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It's a style language used to describe the presentation and layout of HTML documents on the web. In simple terms, CSS allows you to control the appearance of elements on a web page, specifying things like colors, fonts, spacing, and positioning. In CSS, you will need to cover these topics. Start with the basics, understand fundamental concepts like margins and padding, borders, width and height, selectors, positioning, transitions, and animations. Progress to layouts, learn how to create different layouts to structure your web pages effectively. Explore responsive design. This involves ensuring that your websites look appealing on various devices, including mobiles, tablets, and laptops. In this language, you need to remember some of the properties. It's worth noting that with just HTML and CSS skills, you can create a well-designed website. The third language in our list is JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language used to make websites more interactive and dynamic. Interactive and dynamic means that when you click a button, something happens, like a pop-up appearing and changing some text on the page, these types of things we can do with JavaScript. 
JavaScript plays a key role. It's the magic behind the dynamic behavior of web applications to maximize your productivity as a developer. While learning JavaScript, you need to cover these topics. First, learn the basics of JavaScript, like variables, data types, operators, functions, objects, arrays, and the list goes on. Then learn about DOM manipulation, it's how JavaScript plays with the building blocks of a web page to make things happen. And at the end fetch API Ajax, it's like making special requests behind the scenes. It might sound a bit challenging because it's a programming language and it involves a lot of logic. But here's the secret, you don't have to learn everything. Just focus on the basics and you'll be weaving JavaScript magic in no time. When you've learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript well, then proceed to create some projects using these technologies. This will give you a good understanding of these technologies. Keep in mind that front-end development mainly revolves around three technologies HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you master these technologies, you can easily pick up any framework or library. This is because all the frameworks and libraries in modern web development are built on these foundational technologies. Next on our list is Version Control System, VCS. Also, there's Version Control System Hosting. A version control system, like Git, is a tool that helps track changes in code over time, letting multiple people work on a project together. It's like a history book for your code, making collaboration smoother. Now, for VCS hosting, we have three choices, GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. I recommend GitHub. Platforms like GitHub provide an online space to store Git repositories, acting as a virtual home for your code. This makes it easy for teams to share, collaborate, and keep track of changes in their projects. Simply put, Git manages versions, and GitHub is like a virtual home for that version code where you can collaborate seamlessly. Next on the list is the Package Manager, often referred to as NPM, Node Package Manager. In front-end development, NPM is like a helpful friend that handles the organization and management of tools and libraries for your project. If you're working with popular front-end frameworks like React, NPM makes it easy to bring in and manage these frameworks seamlessly. Now, let's decide on a CSS framework. We use frameworks for some reasons such as speeding up website development, maintaining a consistent look, and ensuring compatibility across various devices. There are various options like Tailwind CSS, Bootstrap, Material UI, Daisy UI, Chakra UI, and more. Initially, Bootstrap became very popular because it provided pre-designed components and gained popularity due to its grid system. But nowadays, Bootstrap is kind of dull, and the cool new thing in town is Tailwind CSS, it's a real game changer. My recommendation is Tailwind because its popularity is on the rise, and for good reasons. Tailwind stands out because it provides small, ready-made CSS classes. This means you can style elements directly in your HTML document without needing a separate CSS. Another perk of choosing Tailwind is its extensive library support, allowing you to build a website much faster. If you're already familiar with CSS, learning any CSS framework can be a quick process, often just a matter of a few days. After you've learned a CSS framework, try making a few projects with it. This will help you understand the framework better. Now, it's time to pick a JS framework. There are several options out there, including React.js, Vue.js, Angular, Svelte, and Solid.js. My recommendation among these is React.js. Although it's technically a JavaScript library, not a framework, React.js stands out as the most popular choice. Many companies rely on it for their projects, and it was developed by Facebook. React.js excels in making websites fast and efficient, particularly in single-page applications, significantly enhancing the overall user experience. Desktop or mobile applications A while back, 
developing mobile or desktop applications using JavaScript was impossible. But now JavaScript developers can create mobile or desktop applications using their knowledge for web development. Here is the list of options to create mobile applications in JavaScript. I will recommend choosing React Native or Flutter. For desktop applications, we have Electron, NodeGUI, NWJS, and Meteor. Among these options, you can select an Electron. The last item on our list is Practice. To become a skilled front-end developer, emphasize consistent and hands-on practice. Challenge yourself with coding exercises regularly, take on real-world projects, and collaborate with others in the field. The more you immerse yourself in coding and building websites, the sharper your skills will become. How long does it take to become a front-end developer? The timeline varies based on factors like your learning pace, prior experience, and the time you can commit to learning. Everyone's journey is unique, with some grasping concepts quickly and others requiring more time. To provide a general estimate, if you're starting from scratch, it might take around six to eight months to secure a job as an entry-level front-end developer. For those already familiar with some technologies, this time frame could be shortened to two to three months. What are the front-end developer salaries? Front-end developer salaries can fluctuate based on factors like location, experience, and company size. According to Glassdoor data, the average base salary for a front-end developer in the United States is approximately $80,000 per year. It's important to note that these figures are general averages, and your actual pay may vary based on your experience, skills, and the specific company you work for. As you accumulate more experience and acquire additional skills, you can expect your earnings to increase. In the world of front-end development, staying updated is important. While this roadmap gives you a foundation, the learning journey is endless. Many tools aren't listed here, but it's a good starting point. Good luck on your learning journey.